And we're ready. All right, so we got our magic circle. We're going to take our feet through the ring, and the pads will be on the outsides of your thighs. Good. All right, reach those arms nice and long. We always sit nice and tall. Ear, shoulder, hips in a straight line. Seek her back, press against that ring, and then bring it back up. I'm going to exhale as I come back, tucking that tail. Inhale, tall. Exhale to inhale. And we exhale and we inhale. I'm going to exhale. Hold this one right here. Take the hands together. Shoulders mount. Twist facing me. So I'm going to twist towards my screen and then away. And away from the screen and center. I keep pressure against my ring. I inhale to exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Twisting. Keeping my neck in line with my spine. Scooping that belly. Press that belly button back towards the back of the room. I inhale to exhale. One more. Inhale to exhale. I'm going to come all the way down. My hands are still together. I slide those heels closer towards me. I'm going to bridge up, reach my fingertips towards my ring, and then lower back down. I lift my spine as one unit, and then back down. And we lift, we inhale to exhale, and four, and three, and two, and one. Now, instead of lifting my hips, I'm going to lift my head and chest. Reach towards that ring, exhale, inhale, release. Nod that chin to your chest, and if you don't ever take your head off the mat, you will continue with just your arms, and down, and reach, and down. Two more, and release, one more. Now I'm gonna add back in that bridge. Let's exhale on the up, inhale down, crunch up, exhale to inhale, bridge up, exhale, inhale, Shh, crunch it, and bridge, and crunch, and lift. Make sure as you bridge up, those shoulders pressing down, and crunch. Last one, lift. Now hold this one here and take little pulses. And if you want to at this time, put at least one hand behind that head for support. That's fine. Eight, seven, six, good, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here. Swing those arms out and behind that head. I'm going to nod my chin to my chest a little further. Tabletop these legs, knees over hips. Keep that back heavy. Tap the toes. Down for two, up for two. Down for two, up for two. Inhale down, exhale up. As you tap your toes down, keep that lower back nice and heavy. If your head is lifted, come on, get up and over that sternum, top of that rib cage. We tap slow, we lift slow. And three, and here's two. Here's one, hold this here. Come up a little higher. Now rotate towards me. Hold it there. Tap your toes down. Back to center. Do that again. Whoop, I almost released that ring. Did you guys do that yet? Start sliding down. Keep pressure. Outer thighs. Come on, curl up and over to the side. And three, two, and one. Center. Twist the other direction. Get those shoulders up off that mat. We tap for eight here. Inhale down. Exhale up seven. And six. And five. Here's four. Good. And three. Aren't these fun? Two. Hold center. And release. Take your arms to your side very close to your side, still have pressure against that ring, and we're going to articulate our bridge this time, tuck your tail, lift up, pressing through the back of those arms, and we 
lower with control, still keeping pressure against that ring. Let's tuck that tail by inhaling up, and I exhale, and try to lengthen those fingertips closer towards your heels as you come down. And one more, tuck that tail. We'll inhale up and exhale down. Draw those knees in. I'm gonna take my hands through that ring and my legs are straight up and my arms are into a diagonal. I'm gonna lower my legs just a little bit. I'm gonna nod my chin to my chest. And I'm gonna do these little pulses here. One, two, three. So now I'm pressing against the ring with my hands, my wrists, wherever it is on you. My legs are up slightly away, and I'm just pulsing it up. Two, three. Can you feel those shoulder muscles, those armpit muscles pressing in that ring? Here's eight, seven, six, five. Good. Four. Three, two, one, and release. Take the ring into the hands. Draw those knees a little closer. I'm gonna take my chin back to my chest. I'm gonna slide that ring out and reach my arms and legs away. Bend the knees, put those feet through the ring and reach long. Yep, draw those knees in, reach the legs away, reach the arms away, come back in. Press it out. Keep moving. I'm going to change one little thing. Let's go. Keep those chins to the chest. If that head's lifted, take your time. So you really have to really feel those abdominals to pull those knees close enough to get those feet out, right? Can you still see your navel? I hope so. And lengthen. I really do enjoy these. It's fun. It's a challenge. Like to be challenged. Last one. We're going to hold this out and then bring everything up to the ceiling. Take everything out to a V. Bring everything back up. So my arms lower or reach back. My legs lower. I make a V and I come back up. I inhale. Exhale. How about that lower back? Heavy on the floor. Two more. Inhale, maybe you make it smaller. Maybe you put your head down. Last one, hug those shins in and the head comes down to the mat. If you need a little neck release, look to one side and then look to the other side. Good. And now I want you to take that ring. I'm going to put my feet down for a second. Turn it so one of the pads can go behind your head. And I'm going to take my two hands and overlap them and press into the other pad. Does that make sense? Okay, I'm gonna draw my knees way in. Make sure my lower back is nice and heavy on my mat. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, nod the chin to your chest. So I'm letting my head rest on that pad while I push with my hands so my head can just rest on that pad without dropping my ring down. Single leg stretch, right knee in, Left leg out, and switch, and switch. Inhale, to exhale. Anytime you need to, you put your head down. Now this is straining the lower back with the hip flexors. Maybe you wanna aim a little higher. But I'm using my ring, I'm pushing in my hands, that pad, to curl me up and over and get my neck that support I need. Can you feel your core? Okay, <laughs> thank you. Inhaling, exhaling, one more each set. Inhale, exhale, knees in, head and feet go down, the back and arch if they would like. Woo, okay, we already did a double leg stretch, one version of it. So I'm gonna go into scissors. So I'm gonna draw my knees in again, get my back heavy. <clears throat> Inhale, prepare, exhale, curl the shin to your chest. Bring both legs straight up. I'm going to take the right leg towards me, left leg goes away. I'm going to pulse these legs two times. One, two, switch. One, two. I inhale, exhale. So you want to make sure those shoulder blades are off that mat if your head is lifted. Boom, boom. The belly is saying, what's going on here? Haven't gotten a break yet. Welcome to Pilates. And inhale, 
exhale, good, inhale. Maybe the legs are closer together and maybe your head is down. Maybe your hands are underneath your seat to protect that lower back. Last one, knees in, head down, feet down. I'm gonna drop my knees to one side of my mat. I feel we need that. Using your core, bring it back up to center and take the knees to the other side of your mat. And we'll bring it back up. Then I'm gonna take my knees back in again. I'll inhale to prepare. Exhale, bring it up. Back issues, I want your ring to go away and your hands go underneath your seat. Bring those legs straight up to 90. I'm going to lower, 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 up. Inhale, two, three, exhale. You've got to really make sure that navel is pressing down to your mat. My back does not arch here. Strong legs. Two legs wrapping together as one Greek column. Inhale, 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 exhale. Lower, 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 and lift. And we go down, two, three, and lift. Two more, inhale, inhale, inhale. Last one, I'm shaking, and release that ring. Woo! Hug those knees into that chest. You can rock it side to side if you'd like. I want to get off our backs for the oblique exercise. We're going to rock ourselves up. It's about time to get off our backs. Okay, so I'm going to flip around. So if we need to modify this, you can stay in a quadruped position and reach a knee towards the outside of that elbow. Does everybody see that? So if you can't be in a full plank, you can stay in a quadruped and just drawing the knee and you squeeze that oblique muscle as you bring the knee in. If you want a full plank, you would step back, shoulders over wrists, tuck your tail, flatten out those shoulder blades. We're all gonna take the right knee towards the right elbow and then reach it back out. Then the left knee goes to the left elbow and out. I exhale, inhale. So to protect the shoulders, to give them some stability, we press into those armpits like you're trying to hold a lemon under that armpit while you're holding this plank. I exhale forward, inhale out. Good. Reach the leg long. If you're in a plank, I come back out to that Pilates V. You got it. We'll go four and four. If you need to come down and go into a child's pose, do it. Don't fight through wrist strain, back strain. Two more. I'm going outside that elbow. One more. Last one. And release and stretch back. Reach the arms behind you and curl those fingertips to your wrist. Okay, staying in that quadruped position, I want you to grab a ring. Put it underneath that right hand. And I'm gonna reach it straight out in line with my shoulder. So I wouldn't be out here to the corner of my mat. I'm gonna be out in front of me. My arm is long and the heel of my hand is on. Now, let me just mention this. Don't have the arm so long that your shoulder has disconnected from your rib cage, okay? So make sure you have that connection. My left leg is gonna reach behind me. My hips are in a straight line, in line with my shoulders. When you hear me say hips are square, that means they're right in line with your shoulders. The crown of my head is reaching long. I'm squeezing into that left armpit. I'm going to gently press into my ring to lift this leg and then lower. And it's a gentle press. Two. I'm going to exhale every time I press into my ring. So when we press into the ring, we are always pressing into that belly. I exhale, inhale, shh, and shh. Love it. Shh. Four more, we go for four, good, and three. Give me two more, two. Can you hold this one up in little pulses, pulse? And I'm still pressing into my ring, feeling that armpit muscle. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and release. I'm gonna release that ring and give my left wrist a break. So I'm gonna come back again and make cocks with my fingers. If you have any kind of a wrist issue where it doesn't feel good in flexion like that, feel free to roll up your mat 
and put the heel of your hand on the mat, okay? All right, so left hand is gonna be on top of that ring. So I reach that just far enough, my arm can be straight, the heel of my hand is on, I connect that shoulder to my rib cage. the opposite leg is reaching back. Now before you start to lift this leg, make sure you don't feel that hip is opening, right? If you're working out with a friend that's next to you, if you see someone doing that, say, hey, your hip's lifting up. All right, ready? <laughs> be a friend, here we go, we press and return. So my standing arm should be straight. I should be squeezing into that armpit. Don't worry about lifting that leg too high. Worry about how you're lifting it and what muscles you're applying. It's the glutes lifting that leg, the core and the armpit muscles pressing with the ring. I exhale into the ring as I lift. Shh. Good. Squeeze into those armpits. Make sure the shoulders are always connected to the rib cage on this one. I'm going to do four more. Four, good. And three, love it. Two, now hold this one up, little pulses, and I have to have both arms like a beam of steel. Real straight leg, even straighter. That's it, squeeze that booty. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, release. Stretch it back. <coughs> Make a cup with those fingertips. Make sure the head is relaxed. Good. Are our wrists doing okay? Can we do one more right now in this series with our hands on our mat? We okay? Okay. I'm going to take the ring between my thighs. Woo! So you really got to press into it, otherwise your knees are going as wide as your mat. And if you don't want to use your ring, that's fine. And if you have a play ball, you can also use a play ball. All right, now for anybody who cannot have the weight on their hands, wrists, shoulders, you're going to still press and contract muscles. You'll just have your feet and knees still on the mat. I'm going to curl my toes under. I can see my toenail polish. I'm going to inhale, prepare. On the exhale, squeeze into the ring and hover your shins off the mat. And it will come back down, regroup. Inhale. To exhale, don't get too high. So if you're not lifting, you're just pressing into the ring and squeezing into your armpits without taking the knees off. Come back down, inhale, reset. Exhale, I want you to feel your belly lifting you up. Do you want an extra challenge? We'll stay up, it will press that ring. One, two, three, belly, inner thighs and butt. Five, six, seven, eight, bring it down. Inhale, regroup. Exhale, scoot that belly, lift. And we'll pulse eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, release the ring. I'm going to take my knees as wide as my mat. My palms will be in front of me when they're turned up. I'm just going to lengthen here. Wonderfully done. Okay, let's come on to our side, facing me. We're going to be in a clam position to start. And then once you take the ring, now I don't want it down by the knee, and I don't want it up on the hip. So it's almost halfway, so my arm will not be completely straight, possibly. Okay? Now this bottom arm, and again, if you have a shoulder issue and you just need more support, put a play ball at the bottom of your rib cage, a pillow, I want you to keep the pressure against the top leg. My knees are stacked, my feet are stacked. Then I'm gonna go up into a clam and then come back down. If you need to reposition, reposition to where it feels comfortable and then we come back down. I lift up and I have pressure against my ring. So as I'm lifting up, I'm pushing into my ring. Does that make any sense? Now, if you can't lift up, you can stay here. You can do a low clam or you can just Press into the ring and not lift. Make sense? And we'll bring it up and take it down. I'm going to add on three and lower, two and one. Now, I'm going to ask you to hold that up, but if you want to make it harder, you can take the legs straight out. We're going to lift up into our side plank. 
We're going to hold this here. Connect that shoulder to your back and press into that ring. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep that bottom oblique firing. Keep that bottom armpit firing. Five, four. You can lower that hip at any time. Two, one, and release. Turn to face straight ahead. Before I do the other side, I want you to take your legs nice and long. <coughs> so remember what side you are on in case we flip around. <laughs> Reach those arms nice and long. Feet are flexed. Back of the legs are pressing down. And where your thigh meets your glute, I want you to fire that a little bit. I'm going to inhale to prepare, grow taller. Exhale, spine stretch forward. Scoop the belly, round the back. My lower back is staying against the imaginary wall. Inhale, stack up, connect those shoulders. Exhale, so my chin goes to my chest first. As my fingertips move forward and my ring is going into a diagonal, my belly button is pulling away. I exhale, lengthen, hold. Inhale, grow taller. Exhale, hold this one here, flex those feet. Now make sure we're lifting up out of that lower back by pulling that navel in and zipping it up. From the armpit muscles and core, press the ring one, two, three, four, five. I need you to feel more muscles than just a movement. I need you to feel the movement. Armpit muscles are firing. Every time I press this ring, I'm doing an ab crunch and four, and three, and two, and one, and stack your spine. Let's take our head on the other side of our mat. We swing around, and here we are in this clam position. My ring is about halfway up the thigh. My bottom arm, my shoulder, my elbow in a straight line. I'm pushing off that forearm. If I don't, I'm collapsing. I'm putting way too much weight on that shoulder. We're going to try and do our lifting up of our hips. We lift up and come down. So as I'm coming up, I put pressure on that ring. Shh. You got it. Take your time. If you don't want to lift the hips, you would simply just press into the ring, contract the muscles, and then release them. Shh. You look pretty good. Just watch that bottom shoulder. Uh-huh. Two more. Shh. Don't forget to breathe. One more. Exhale. Now, we're going to hold this one at the top. You can either keep the knees on the floor or I straighten my legs. <laughs> Same thing. I lift up. I hold it here and I press into my ring. One. Two. Three. Can you feel everything working on that bottom side of your body? We're so focused. It's okay. I got it. Eight, seven, if you have to, lower the hips. Four more, four, three, two, one, and release. How'd that go? Amazing. Okay, I'm gonna swing back around. I just like scenery changes. <laughs> Take that ring, place it on your mat flat. Press the sides of your feet into that ring. Okay, so I want you to reach long. So my arms are parallel to my legs. I'm trying to reach past my toes. Head is heavy, press into your ring. We're gonna roll it back. The ring will go with you, tuck your tail. Let me bring it back. Reach the arms behind you. Bring them up to the ceiling. Inhale to exhale at the top, open up straight to a T. Twist towards me. Inhale, exhale. Inhale up, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now we're gonna roll back. You guys okay back there? Okay, flex the feet. <laughs> Reach the arms behind you. Bring them back up to the ceiling. Press into your ring, inner thighs, inner thighs. Sit tall, open up to your saw. Inhale, rotate, exhale, look at your back hand. Lift up from your core, not your back. Twist, twist, twist. Look at that back hand. 
Bring it back up, back to center. Reach forward, roll it back. Tuck your tail, tuck, tuck, breathe. It's an inhale to prepare, exhale to lower. Bring those arms straight back up, nod the chin to your chest, inhale. Exhale, come to a T, come to that T. Palms down, feet flexed, rotate towards me, inhale. Exhale, look at your back hand. Lift up, inhale to exhale. Inhale, twist. Exhale, all the air up. Inhale up. Exhale, reach those palms forward. Inhale to roll back, press into your ring. Exhale, reach those arms, arms back up over your head. Inhale, find that lower back, press into your ring. Now this time, reach past your toes. Woo! Lower those arms down, grab onto your ring, hold it out there, parallel to your thighs. Now start to stack, starting at the mid-back. So my lower back is not going to change. My lower back is not going to change. I'm in this nice diagonal. Now roll it back. You should be right where you just started. So I don't move back. I just start to lift, and I think of starting at the mid-back all the way to the crown of my head. It's nice and tall. Can you lift those sit bones up lighter? Now round over that big barrel, pull your belly button away from it, melt those shoulders. And here we go, let's inhale up, and at the top, let's exhale. So I'm staying nice and long. Now come up a half inch more, and then just tip an inch towards the diagonal corner of your room to one side. Back to center, so I'm still in this diagonal. I lift up higher, I just go an inch diagonal, come back to center. And it's like I'm reaching for the, almost the top corners of my mat, but not exactly that much twisted. Inhale to exhale. I lift up, small stretch. It's small. And side and hold and side and hold and then bring that ring down. Bring those legs together in a Pilates V. Good. My ring is towards my chest. I'm going to seek her back. I'm going to put some pressure on this ring. So I want you to take the knee that's closest to the screen. You're going to lift it up and twist towards that knee. <coughs> put it back down. Now, if you need to come back up, that's okay. I'm going to stay back. The other knee, I'm going to rotate. Press it back out. I exhale. You can do this laying on your back. You can sit up and just pop a knee, right? So I'm focusing here more on rotation and not ab strength. So this is another modification. Back here is harder. You can also put a play ball back here to support you. If you twist too fast, you lose what we're trying to gain here. We're trying to get that rotation in the spine while we're working the oblique. Shh. I'm also gently pressing into my ring. I exhale to inhale. If you want a little bit harder, we're going to stay facing your screen. Hold it here. Press the leg out. Press the ring. One more. Put that leg down. Come back to center. Other side. I press. Reach long. Come in and press. Reach long. Inhale. Three. Two. Come back to center, and let's turn that ring. Let's put a pad right behind the feet and just reach it long. Scoop that belly in as my arms are going out. And then we'll stack that spine back up. Okay, let's come onto our stomachs for some extension work. Are we okay? <laughs> when you were twisting? Okay. Ah, we're finally this way. We got a lot of fun stuff on our stomachs. So anybody who can't reach their arms out, you'd put your hands right under your armpits, okay? So I'm going to take my arms and I'm going to overlap my hands. Let me slide this over. I'm going to overlap my hands on the top. So right now, I'm pulling my belly button away from my mat. We call that making a house for a mouse. My legs are sits bone width apart. If you have a lower back issue, I'd go wider, okay? All right, so on an inhale, I'm gonna to start to lift up my head and chest. 
Now on an exhale, I'm going to release the pressure off the ring, scoop that belly in deeper, and I'm going to lift back up. Inhale. Exhale. And again, gently press in, squeeze those armpits, come back down. And again, don't forget the breath. Every movement has a breath. We inhale. And then lift up. Inhale. And exhale. And just one more, please. And we're going to inhale. And exhale. Release that ring. I'll give you a nice little break for three seconds. So we're going to stretch back. <laughs> Not three minutes. <laughs> Reach it nice and long. Good. All right. So I want you to come all the way down. I'm going to have my knees bent and my hands are by my rib cage. If you have any issue with your shoulders and this is too much for you, I'll give you a modification. Okay. So I'm going to inhale, prepare. On the exhale, I'm going to press up into my modified plank position. Yep. Take the feet back and take the knees off the mat. So now I pushed out into a full plank. And then from here, I'm going to lower all the way down. My elbows hug into my rib cage, and I'm going to bend my knees again. Are we ready? Inhale, prepare. Exhale, press up. Now, you don't have to go to a full plank. You can stay just like this and hold. I'm going to take the part of your knees. Yes. You still have your knees up? Okay, so if you want to do um, plank push-ups against the wall, you can stand up and get off your knees completely. All right, feet go back. Flex. I'm in a perfectly long plank. Yep, I'll do yours definitely against the wall. Yep, and then come back down. Four, three, two, one. Bend your knees. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, press up. <sighs> Lengthen your legs. Press out into a plank. Lower down. Four, three, two. Can we do one more? Sure. Good. Next, you want to do more. Bend your knees. We'll talk about that at the top. Exhale. Feet flexed. Press out. Now, do you guys want to hold this or do you want to do another rep? Okay. <laughs> I won't tell you who said that. Lower down. <laughs> In case you weren't listening, bend your knees. Now, do me a favor, this is our last one. So I don't want you peeling, like I don't want you lifting your chest and your belly button, everything. So be strong, inhale, prepare, exhale. Flex the feet, knees off. And I'm gonna go all the way to my knees and stretch back in that child's pose and make cups with my hands. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Now, Susie, if you can't lay flat, if you can't lay flat and, um, and kick your butt with your knees bending, you can do that standing up too. We're not kneeling, but we're laying flat and bending. Okay. Okay, kids, let's go. So sometimes this doesn't stay behind my leg. Sometimes it does. But I'm going to take my ring, put it in the smile of your seat. Does anybody know what that means? The very end of your butt cheek, the smile. Okay. And it goes behind the ankle slash heel. And this is for glutes and hamstrings. See how you feel mine starting to slide. It might stay. All right, so I'm gonna make my pillow with my hands. My belly button is pulling in. If you don't fire the glutes enough, if the glutes don't work for you hard enough, you're gonna get immediate hamstring cramp. Just the one leg is bent, the other leg is flat on your mat, nice and straight. Yep, and you don't have to use the ring at all. I'm gonna keep my navel pulling in, and I'm gonna lift my leg up and down. Up and down. You're trying to keep your hips in a straight line. And I'm firing that glute, relaxing my shoulders and neck. How are these going? We lift up and down. I exhale up, inhale down. You should ever feel strain ever in that lower back. So if you're feeling that, just ditch the ring and maybe don't lift as high. Play with it. See what works for you that does not put strain to that lower back. We're just going to do four more here. The opposite leg is pushing down as I lift up. Three and two. Can you hold this one up? I'm going to just lift little pulses up, up, 
Uh, relax those shoulders. I just caught myself with my shoulders almost to my ears. It's very easy to do that, very easy. That's why you have me here to remind you. And let's do four more, and three, and two, and one, and release. Grab onto that ring. Woo, straighten that leg out. We'll be okay with our backs. If not, go into a child's pose, okay? All right, so I'm gonna come onto my other side to put the ring in. Smile the seat, behind the heel, ankle. All right. Make sure when you lay back down that your knee's not cranked way out to the edge of your mat. It should be in line with your hip. Rest your head on those hands. Pull the navel in. The other leg reaches long and pushes into the floor. And we'll lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Up and down. It's the same tempo up as you're going down. Fire the glute, fire the core. And if your glutes are doing their job, your hamstrings should be okay. Looks like we're all doing okay here. Don't forget to breathe. Exhaling up, inhaling down. Check in with those shoulders, make sure they're not reaching up to those ears. Four more here, four. And three, good. And two, I'm gonna hold this one up and little pulses up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four more. Here's four and three and two and one. Was that a ring? <laughs> and release and stretch back. <laughs> Didn't know if that was construction workers <laughs> banging around. Reach nice and long. Stay here for a quick second. Can you give me a nice big inhale and feel the rib cage expand? Exhale, close it back up. Feel the abdominals sinking in deeper. Just give me one more. We'll inhale and we will exhale. Excellent. Okay, let's come on to our sides. So we're gonna put our head on this side. So I'm laying on my right side, but if you're gonna mirror me, you'd be on your left. Just mirror me, your head's gonna be on this side of the screen. All right, we're gonna take that bottom leg through the ring, rest on the pad. The top leg is gonna be on top of my heel, so kind of turned in like a Pilates V. I'm gonna come down onto my side. You can stay propped up, what works for you, okay? Just be comfortable. You can lay all the way down on your arm. That's fine. So I'm going to put a little pressure on the ring. <laughs> release the pressure and bring my leg up. Reach long. Push down just a little bit. Lift up. And down. Press. So when you press into the ring, number one, it's the core engaging. Then you know it's the inner thighs. And what else is working as you press that ring down? Anyone know? Yes. Is that Kim back there again? <laughs> Kim's the spokeswoman back there. <laughs> and press. I'm pushing my bottom leg down as I bring my top leg up. Lift. And press. And one more. Lift. Now stay on the ring. Now I'm going to take my leg forward. Pause on the pad. Bring it back. Pause, forward, pause, back. So usually I'm always cueing to push that bottom leg into the floor, right? But now it's a true test because if I'm not pushing into that floor when I'm moving my leg, you're gonna lose your ring. Can you feel that activation of that bottom leg? Yeah, exhale forward, make sure your shoulders are relaxed. Good, now bend that knee in and press it through the ring. Whoop, bend it in, press it through. So my legs are parallel, yep. And I'm dusting a shelf with this inner thigh. Reach long. You wanna feel a nice length as you press out. A longer leg requires a lot of these muscles here to support. 
Good. Two more. Great. One more. Hold this one out. I'm going to lay all the way down on my arm and then have both legs pressing into each pad. Got it? So I'm going to lift both legs up off my mat. Are we ready? We're going to lift up and come down. Now, as you come up, push the free hand down into the mat. So you want that hand nice and flat. And I'm going to use that as leverage as I'm lifting up, as I'm pushing down into something. This bottom hip is also pressing down onto your mat. Relax that shoulder. Lift and lower. Everything on the outside here, including your glutes. Nice oblique work. Let's get ready. Beach bodies, here we come. We'll be starting at the pole in a couple months. <laughs> and three. Come on, you got this. Two. Now can you hold this one up and give me little pulses? Squeeze that butt. Squeeze the belly. Relax the shoulders and neck. Four more. We got this. Four. Three. Two. One. Bend your knees. Grab onto that ring. I'm going to come up and my top leg is going to come behind you. Yep, top leg is going to come behind. And we're just going to do this little, my forearm is going to come down and get this nice little diagonal. Yep. And now this time, I'm going to lift my hips up, press them forward, whoop, bring it back down. Let's do our little mermaid. So we bring that <coughs> forearm to the floor, anchor the butt cheeks, inhale. Exhale, press back up, and we'll lift our hips. Look up towards the sky. Looks amazing today. Are we in Pittsburgh? <laughs> and bring it back down, other side. Okay. Woo, how'd that feel? Oh yeah, that's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. All right, we'll do a nice stretch right after this for that hip flexor. Everything, everything along the side of your body was working. Okay, so bottom leg is inside the ring. Then we go on to the top pad. And I just prop myself up with my elbow. Okay, you comfortable? All right, so we're going to press into the ring. Now we have our heels turned in. You need your sunglasses, don't you? Don't complain. I'll take the sun. Right, come down, <coughs> lift up. Press into the ring, lift up, inhale, exhale. Now move with precision. Don't move quick. Press. Every time you press down into that ring, do you feel the abdominals crunching? Yes. Keep this bottom rib cage nice and light, by the way. Try to reach that leg as long as you can, real straight. Lift up, reach, press, lift up, reach, press. You need to feel the obliques, or really the whole belly, put it that way, whole belly. But I also feel a little bit more of that obliques. I'm laying on my side. Let's go. Press that bottom hand. Firmly into the mat as you lift this leg up. Good. And one more. Inhale. Two exhale. Stay on your pad. Now slide the leg forward. Now go back. Take it forward. Pause. Take it back. Pause. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, belly in. Don't let those hips go with you. Now hold it on top. Now the inner thigh is going to be dusting a shelf. Slide that knee towards you and go through the ring. Lengthen. So I want you to feel like someone's pulling that foot way out there. So you get nice length out of that hip. I'm working still the outer thigh, outer hip, glute, oblique, and try to have that leg stay parallel. Try not to touch the legs together. You got it. Exhale, inhale, press out. In, 
Good. Pull it in as you exhale. Press out as you inhale. Two more. Last one. Let the leg release for a second. I'll give you a quick three second break. I'm gonna lay all the way down on my arm. I'm gonna take my top leg against the pad. Oh my, pressure on both directions. I'm gonna lift up and down. Press your free hand into the floor. Melt the shoulders. I exhale, inhale. Shh, you got it. Keep that bottom rib cage nice and light. Hips are stacked, shoulders are stacked. Four, you got it. Three, these aren't easy. Two, are you able to hold it up? Little pulses, one, two. You can also have your legs down and just push up against the top pad, right? Five, four, three, two, one. Bend your knees. Grab onto your ring. My knees are still stacked. I bring them towards the top of my mat. I lift up. I'm gonna take my top leg behind me. This arm is out. And as I stretch over, I'm gonna come onto my forearm and just push your hip down towards your heel. Then straighten that bent arm. And I'll lift my hips up. I gaze up towards the sky and come back down. Come back onto that forearm. <laughs> Nice, lovely side stretch, inhale, exhale. Lift those hips, inhale, to exhale and release. Grab onto your ring, face your toes. Okay, so I'm gonna take the ring between my thighs. Beginning of class, we had them on the outside of our thighs. Now we're on the inside. <coughs> if you need support, hands behind your thighs. If not, you're gonna reach out long. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, press into the ring as you come back, hold. Inhale, release the ring. Exhale, hold. So I am going into a C curve. So I tuck my tail, melt the shoulders, and you're gonna notice that I'm not pressing the ring on the up, I'm pressing into it on the down. The inner thighs and glutes are gonna support the abdominals. This is where you're gonna stay if a teaser and coming all the way down is too hard for you. But this time, I'm gonna take my hands through the ring, just like we did before, and bring it up and get my legs closer. And now I'm gonna go all the way down, exhale. Remember your choices, you don't have to come all the way down. I nod my chin to my chest. I find that lower back. I inhale up. Exhale, eyes to belly, tuck your tail. How are we doing? Bend those knees and eyes to belly, find that lower back. Now, no momentum, now we're coming up. That's it, but do not go to your side to come up. I'd rather you not go all the way down. Do you know what I'm talking about? So if you're struggling coming up and you come onto your side and then you come up this way, that's not helping you. Okay, next level. I'm gonna take my leg straight. I'm gonna bring it back. When I come up, my eyes and toes are gonna to stay together. So I'm gonna to lift my toes, eyes and toes together. Bring it back down, eyes and toes stay together. So when my toes are down, my heels are down, my head should be down, eyes to belly, find it. I lift and I pause, scoops. I'm lifting not from my hip flexors, I'm lifting from my core and lower it down. Chin to chest, pull that navel in. I want you to pause right here and freeze, freeze, freeze. So just my shoulder blades are off. I want you to do a little swimming. Lower abdominals, glutes are firing to support. Four, three, two, one. Bring it up. Let's do that one more time. Draw the chin to your chest. When I bring my legs up, I'm firing my glutes. My lower back should be heavy. And we swim. Eight, seven. Lower abdominals. Big time. Four, three. Let's have a boat. Head down. Should we do another rep? Yes. <laughs> She's afraid to answer. <laughs> uh, I'll answer yes. Eyes to belly. Find your lower back. My glutes brought my legs up. 
and we swim. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release the ring and hug those knees in. So you know how you feel when we're laying on our stomach and we do traditional swimming and you felt your glutes firing in the legs? You should have felt that same thing even though we were on our backs and on our stomachs. Make sense? Grab one, two, ring, feet down. All right. One more thing. I really want to make sure that we're hitting these glutes today. So reach those arms up, <laughs> shoulders down. They're very, very, very important muscles there. All right, so bridge up. Just get those hips up. Shoulders are down. Legs are one fist width apart. Once you tabletop your right leg, hold it just like that. We're going to do a single leg bridge. One count to come down. One count to lift up. Down and up. Down and up. I'm going to also add on, when I go down, I'm going to press my leg out, tabletop as I lift up into a bridge. You can keep the leg still, or you can press out when you lower. Table as you come up. I'll keep that ring tight. When I lift up on an exhale, two more. One more. Hold it here. Straighten that leg to ceiling little pulses. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Put that foot down, fix your bridge. Tabletop the other leg. If you'd rather keep two feet on the floor, that's fine. We're gonna lower, Just press the ring up. <sighs> Inhale down, exhale up. Squeeze that booty. Now if you want, on the down, I press my leg out. Table on the up. Six, five, four, don't let that hamstring get cranky, three, two, we're going to finish with the pulses, hold it up, lengthen that leg, pulse that bridge, one, two, three, four more, here's four, three, two, hold the bridge, foot down, lift those hips up, let your knees Fall out, lower your bridge down, bring the arms behind you. Hip flexors in a little stretch, like a little butterfly pose. Bring the knees back together, bring the arms straight up. Take your right toes onto one of the pads and bring that leg straight up. Lengthen the other leg all the way out. Hamstring stretch, yay. So I want you to use that ring, push into it to get the leg straighter. Inhale, nothing. Exhale, see if you can get a little closer without straining your lower back. Inhale, exhale a little closer. Now flex your heel, point the toes. Inhale, exhale. One more. Now keep your right hand on the pad. Left arm goes out like a T. Tie down these hips, and let's take that right leg out to our right. But the left shoulder and the left hip cannot go with you. And I'm still pressing into that ring. Bring it back up. Switch the hand. The other arm goes out like a T. So I'm going to take my leg just slightly through center. IT band stretch. But keep your butt and the hips on the floor. Now, if you want to move on to more of a back release, I'm going to look away from my ring leg and let that leg go across. My hip can leave, my back can peel off, but my shoulder must stay heavy in that right arm. Bring it back up, two hands on the pad, switch the feet out. Slide that right leg straight onto your mat, left leg is straight up. Press the back of the knee straighter, inhale for me, exhale, inhale, exhale. Flex the heel, point the toes. Flex the heel, point the toes. Flex and point one more. Left hand's going to stay on the pad. Right arm goes out. Put a bowling ball on that right hip and reach that leg long. Keep the hips and the shoulders down. Press into that pad. Bring it back up. Switch the hand. Other arm goes like a T. Now just let that leg go across the center, but keep your hips still. Press that leg straighter. 
And now let it go further, look away from that ring leg, but keep the opposite shoulder heavy. So my left shoulder is heavy as I'm going to my right. Bring it back up, two hands on the pad, rock yourself up. Woo, I'm going to sit cross-legged. Ah, excellent job today. You feel good? Yeah. Let's do a couple inhales, okay? Inhale, rib cage is tall. Exhale. So I'm inhaling the oxygen. I'm going to exhale all those yucky toxins. And last one, I'm trying to even sit taller as I finish up. And three, and two, and one. You made it. Woo! All right, how do we do here? Good? That was good. That was five.